Hey guys, Demetrius here. Welcome back to my channel where I show you how to build digital solutions and automate your workflows. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a really nice app that you can use on your Shopify store in order to start, start selling courses. Now, Shopify is a very popular e-commerce platform. However, until now, there hasn't been a good solution when it comes to selling digital products as well as uh, online courses. However, I have now come across this app called Courses and I'm going to show you how to install it. So you basically go to apps. Uh, you go to the Shopify App Store and then all you have to do is just search for courses and um, Let's go ahead and search for it courses and here it is right here is by architect pro and uh, I installed it already and it's actually very very good You know, I was surprised by how clean the interface is and how easy it is to build um, create courses and also set up all your lessons and stuff like that. Now the pricing plan is right here. They actually have a free uh, plan which allows you to have up to five lessons as well as unlimited courses and unlimited students. So that's really, really good if you want to test it out initially, you know. Um, and then if you have more than five lessons, you actually have to pay like a monthly fee um, to host up to 20 lessons. I think their, their plans are pretty fair. You know, I, I really like the fact that they give you unlimited courses and unlimited students. That's really, really important. Uh, I don't like platforms that limit you on how many courses you can create and how many students you can have. So, um, so far, everything looks very promising. So you go ahead and add the app, you know, that's going to install the app on your, um, on your Shopify platform, on your Shopify store. And then, one week, once we click on the app here, we're going to be presented with all the settings. Now, the first thing you need to do in order to make this work, you need to go to settings, uh, check out, and you want to make sure that um, accounts are required, right? So what this means is that customers will only be able to check out if they have a customer account, guys. So the idea is that when they, when they, when you're selling courses, um, you're only going to be able to give access to courses to the people who already have an account, right? That's the, that's the, the, that's the reason why you need to make this required because if they don't have an account, then they won't be able to access your courses. So make sure that option is selected. And also, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're then going to go to back to apps courses and the setup guys is actually really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my courses here and I'm going to show you how to create a new course. So the way that you create um, courses, guys, is you got to go to products and every every product you create is going to be a course if you assign it under a collection that you create and actually created a new collection called courses and every product that I assign under that collection is going to be treated as a course. Right. So you need to make sure that you're creating your collection where you want to have all your courses under. Right. In this case, I created a new collection called courses. And then when you go to all products, you can create a new product. And this is going to be your course. So, for example, I'm going to name this um, uh, this uh, wait, uh, let's name it this automation course. Right. You can have your description. Uh, let's see. This is a course description, right? You can have some images, you know, so if you want like a, a thumbnail for your course and whatnot, you can set your pricing. For this example, I'm going to set it to, to uh, I'm not going to have any price because I want to uh, be able to check out with a free course. So I'm going to leave that empty and then make sure that you uncheck this option right here. So when the customer purchases the product, it doesn't ask them for their shipping information. So make sure to uncheck that. And then uh, and then the next thing you want to do is make sure that you set this product, this course to go under the collection you created for your courses. Right. This is very important. So in my case, it's going to be the courses collection and then I'm going to click save. And this should now allow me to edit my course. So if I go back to apps and then I go to courses. So now if I go under um, if I go under the my courses tab here, as you can see, I have a new course 
uh, detected, right? So this is the automation course I created. Now, the first time you do this, guys, it should actually ask you, there you go. So it will ask you which collection your courses are under, right? And you want to make sure to collect, to, to, to select the, the collection you created for the courses. This is the way it's going to be able to detect which products are actually your courses. So here's the course we have, and I'm going to go to edit course. And this is where we edit the course. Now the interface is actually really cool here. It's really clean and very easy to use. So you add a new section. And if you have taken an online course before, you know that the, 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 the videos are usually split up into sections, right? So you would usually have like an introduction section. Um, and in inside this section, you would have some lessons. So we could have like a lesson and call it something like welcome to this course, you know, and um, the cool thing here is that you can choose whether you want to have like a text based lesson, or whether you want to have an actual video in it. So you get a full on um, uh, word editor here, like a, a document editor here. So you can edit all the text, so I'm going to say, welcome to this course. Um, this is an example welcome lesson, right? Um, yeah, and then if you wanted to add a video to this, you would actually go to insert and then media. And here you can choose uh, to basically you, you would have to give the link of the video you want to add to the page and that will add the video for you. So I'm going to show you guys an example. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. And let me find let's go with this video right here. So I created a, um, a video series on how to build a restaurant app recently. And let's say I want to turn this into a course, I will go ahead and share this and get the actual link. Or what you can actually do is embed the video. So in this case, if I want to embed the video, I can actually click on embed here and get the whole code that will allow me to embed the video. So you get two options there. I'm going to close this tab right here. So there we go. So here I'm going to paste my paste my embed code and I'm going to click save. And there we have it. Now it actually added it. I'm going to have to press enter. So the, the video goes below the text I have here. And now let's click on save. And that is my lesson created. If you want to edit your lesson, you can just click here. And there you go, you can now edit your lesson, right? So really nice interface here, guys. And then if you want to add more lessons, you go to add lesson. And then if I want to create a new section, let's name this. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, part one. Um, how to, uh, I don't know, what tools we are going to be using, for example. And then here I can add another lesson. Uh, I'm going to call this actually, I'm not even I don't even know what I'm doing here. Like, I'm naming my my sections, I'm giving them really weird names. So uh, let's just name this uh, section two because I really can't think of anything right now. Uh, section two, save. And then here I'm going to add a new lesson and I'm going to call this the tools we are going to be using. And then here I'm going to have a little description. So here is a video with all the tools we are going to be using in order to create our restaurant app, right? And then I'm going to go back here, I'm going to find another video. So let's just go with part two of this video series. Share, embed, copy the code, and then go to insert, media, embed, paste the code right there, save, and there we have it, right? Save. And you can do this guys with any, any, any platform you choose to host your videos with, you know, so you can choose Vimeo, for example, I actually suggest you use something like Vimeo because it's a little bit more secure, you know, with, with YouTube videos, it's really easy for someone to, um, 
to get the link to the YouTube video and then share it publicly on the internet. So yeah, guys, now let's, let's try and see how this works. So if I click on view, this is actually going to give me the, um, this is the course page. This is the actual course page. So currently I'm logged in with an account here, uh, with the name Sam. And, um, as you can see, I haven't purchased any courses, but on the preview here, so let me go back. So this is the preview of what this course will look like. So as you can see, the embed video here looks a little bit, um, it doesn't look good. So let me go back and actually edit this a little bit. So welcome to this course. And this time I'm actually going to try something else. I'm actually going to try and go to insert media. And instead of choosing embed, I'm going to choose the link. Let's see if this automatically adjusts the size. So let's go back to part one. Uh, where is it? Part one. And let me actually get the link of the video. So I'm going to paste the link right there. And as, as you can see here, we get some options to edit the size. So um, hmm, let me experiment with this. So let's see. Let's try 800. Okay. So 800, 449. Save. And let's preview the course. There you go, guys. So as you can see now, it's a little bit bigger, right? So that's how you you edit your um, your video size. Just make sure to uh, go to click on the video here, and then click on this icon, and then you can edit the width and the height. Make sure it's at least eight hundred. I think that's gonna allow you to have the whole video, like like uh, properly view the the whole. Um, properly adjust the, the video size basically. And then if we play this, as you can see, it's nice. Uh, the, the size is pretty good now. So there you have it guys. That's how you add courses. That's how you add, um, how, that's how you add lessons to your sections. And then let's go to section two and we need to fix this as well. So I'm going to go back to section two and uh, edit this lesson right here. I'm going to click on the video and then I'm going to click on this icon and I'm going to change the width to 800. Save this, save again. And now if we preview this, okay, there we go. Section two, there we go. So the interface guys is actually really good. And here we can also, you can have your whole description of the course here. So that's nice as well. And it even gives you the progress. So that's good as well. So I'm guessing now if I click on this, there we go. So whenever you finish a video, uh, whenever you finish a lesson, you can just tick it so you know how much, so you know your progress basically. So really neat guys, it's actually really clean. I'm, I'm impressed on how clean this is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna test the um, checkout functionality. So let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and try and purchase a course here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I'm going to open this link on a new window so it doesn't detect that I'm logged in and I'm going to go to catalog and here's my course right here. So for some reason it says that it's sold out, but I think uh, there is an easy way to fix that. I'm going to go to my Shopify store. I'm going to go to products and then I'm going to click on the course here and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to deselect this track quantity button right there. So now if I go back to my uh, my product page here and I reload the page, as you can see, I now have an option to buy. So I'm going to click on this. And now the next thing that's going to happen is should ask me to create an account or log in, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create an account with the store here. And let's go uh, Dimitris K tutorial videos at gmail.com and then let me just put a password create and now we have a nice recapture cars verify submit so we have now created an account with our store and this is actually really good guys because when you when you ask the customer to create an account first you can actually 
uh, do some email marketing later on. You know, if they don't decide to buy the course after creating an account, you can actually then um, do some uh, email marketing in order to get them to buy. So now if I go to buy now, there you go. So it takes me straight to the um, to the checkout page. So now I'm gonna he go ahead and just enter some info here. Right there, continue to payment, and this should actually be free. There you go, so pay now. And there you go guys, we have successfully made a purchase, right? And now there's actually a button that you can configure in your in your app settings. So if I go to apps and courses, uh, there is a, um, there is somewhere here, there is a, uh, yeah, my courses button. So you click on this and this is gonna give you some code guys. So you copy this code and then what you wanna do is go to settings, uh, checkout, And then you wanna scroll all the way down where it says there should be a box right here, additional scripts, and you paste that code in here. And what that's gonna do is when the um, when the purchase is completed, it's gonna have this button right here, and it's gonna say, so what do you, um, so what do you need to do next? Well, if you purchase any digital courses, click here. And you can actually customize this text right here. If you go to uh, this code right here, you can customize the text right there. Right, so you can make it say whatever you want. But now if we click on this button, it should actually take us to our, our account right here. So this is our account, and as you can see, we have successfully purchased this course. So now if I click on this, there we go. This is the course page, guys. So it's really neat, it's actually really clean. I'm surprised on how good this is, uh, because usually uh, Shopify apps are not that, uh, that good, but this, I'm surprised with it, it's actually pretty good. So hey guys, this is it for this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you found it useful. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning on using this um, this app on your Shopify store in order to start selling your online courses. And finally guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to join my free community if you wanna network with myself as well as other like-minded individuals who are building digital solutions, automating the workflows. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a link for that in the description. Make sure to check it out. Uh, it's a great place to be. Uh, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna be uh, notified when I release new videos like this one and I'm gonna see you on the next one.